Florida has a well-earned reputation for notoriously tight political votes. But not tonight. The largest state to vote so far in this year's primaries returned one of the largest margins of victory so far in this race, handing Mitt Romney an important win. Our senior Washington correspondent, Neil McDonald, is covering the primary from Tampa tonight. Neil? Well, Wendy, the truth is this. Florida's conservatives today picked the Republican candidate they dislike least. And in doing so, they made last week's big loser tonight's big winner. The next president of the United States. Mitt Romney pulled off a remarkable turnaround here. He's the darling of his party's establishment, but until this moment, he'd only managed one clear primary victory. Tonight, he was talking as though he's already the nominee. Mr. President, you were elected to lead. You chose to follow, and now it's time for you to get out of the way. I stand, I stand ready to lead this party and to lead our nation. What Mitt Romney did not mention were the millions he spent punching it out in a vicious TV ad war here with Newt Gingrich. He really can't whine about negative campaigning when he launched a very negative campaign in South Carolina and when the people here in Florida looked at the different campaigns and concluded that his was the most negative. Think about that logic. Both sides go totally negative, the idea being to portray the other guy as the most negative. But that's modern American politics. Ideas are secondary. Winning is paramount and negative works. Gingrich got right into the mud here, too, insisting today he's the real conservative, effectively calling Romney a liberal. Conservatives are clearly going to outpoll Romney. There's no clear path for Romney to get to a majority. But a lot of voters disagreed, deciding Romney is the man who can win their party, the White House, in November. I think he's the most presidential of the, can uh, the candidates. I think he's the best one to beat Obama. And he's also coming out of this state with a huge lead. In any normal race, that would also mean unstoppable momentum. But this contest has swung back and forth so wildly in the last four votes that any confident prediction is impossible. The question, Wendy, is whether conservative voters in this country are finally ready to coalesce behind one candidate and get on with the job of unseating Barack Obama. Thanks, Neil. Neil McDonald in Tampa, Florida tonight.